It won't be here. Cincinnati today pulled out of the running for the GOP convention in 2016. The decision came at the 11th hour, right before the party was going to make the next cut in the selection process. Night on your side, anchor Tanya O'Rourke is standing by live outside U.S. Bank Arena. Tanya, this is not what, how we thought this would end. No, it sure isn't, Clyde. And in fact, if you look behind me, you see U.S. Bank Arena. It that it was U.S. Bank Arena that scuttled this whole deal for Cincinnati. In fact, John Barrett, who led this effort for Cincinnati, tells us U.S. Bank Arena's needing to update is the sole reason that Cincinnati pulled out of the running. He says that the RNC wanted 80 luxury boxes and U.S. Bank Arena only has 38. Now, when they came to look at U.S. Bank Arena in the spring, the RNC did, that they were told, earlier this spring anyway, we were told millions would have to be spent to bring it up to code to what was needed at least for the RNC. And today, Hamlin County Republican chair, Party Chair Alex Triandafilo told me U.S. Bank Arena's failings were technical requirements. Well, we learned it into last evening and then again this morning, kind of we talked it through as a group and made the decision middle of the day that uh, it was best to just respectfully withdraw our bid and uh, evaluate where we stand and you know, maybe reconsider for 2020. Now, U.S. Bank Arena's owners, AEG Live, released a statement that read in part, although U.S. Bank Arena met all initial requirements from the convention's request for proposal, additional convention-specific criteria was added after the site visit and proved to be difficult to facilitate. These challenges relate to temporary modifications, such as TV platforms, that were a unique request and that were not easily remedied. And one more thing, though. Don't feel bad, Cincinnati. Las Vegas pulled out of the running today in the 11th hour as well. That leaves behind Cleveland, Dallas, Denver, and Kansas City. And you would naturally think that the folks here in Cincinnati are going to support Cleveland now in this bid, right? Because you want to see it come to Ohio. But wouldn't that ruin Cincinnati's chances of getting a political convention in 2020? We talked to Alex Triantafilu about that specifically. Which city he plans to support? We'll tell you about that and why. That's coming up at 6. Back to you. Tanya, looking forward to that. Thank you.